Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some incredible acts of petty, but before I get into it, I just wanted to let you guys know that my new merch line, Petty Couture, is now available. You can grab that at shop.charlottedobre.net. And yes, they are velour tracksuits, okay? They come in three colors. We've got silver, rose gold, and black, and they come in sizes all the way up to quadruple XL. When I tell you that I literally live in these, I'm not exaggerating. They are fabulous. Go and get yours. All right, let's get into the petty. Let's get petty. I'm back for a nightly tuna snack because I didn't eat dinner because I'm petty. So usually when I make dinner for the fam, I end up cleaning it after all. So I do all the dishes and I'll put away the dishes. So I, be I do dinner and I clean the dinner. No. Anyways, not to name names, but let's just say one of my sisters made dinner tonight. And when she makes dinner, she makes it a point to say, hey, I cooked so you clean. Oh. And like, usually I wouldn't have a problem with that. Like, that's fine, I'm freaking clean. Except. <laughs> but when it comes to this sister, <laughs> I'd rather starve. <laughs> I made a really nice, juicy, yummy looking salmon. Everybody ate and she offered me, she's like, do you want some? And then I looked at the pile of dishes in the sink and I was like, I'm okay, thanks so much. <laughs> And I ran upstairs and I didn't eat. Oh, wow. It's so unfortunate. Like, I would have totally enjoyed the salmon. But you didn't want to clean. So Here funny. Here I am eating lettuce tuna. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, you know? And I know that. I know, like, it's not worth it. And fighting is so stupid. No, you told me. I asked you guys. Do you guys want tuna? You guys all said no. I changed your mind. I was ago. My eyes. They burn. Yes, one thing Sophie, you have to do the dishes by yourself. She can't do one thing. No. Wait 20 minutes for me. That's, that's my point. That's my point. Yeah, your po no, my point, point is, is right. My point is proven. I've been looking for stuff for my, my point. My point is proven. I guess the kids were not satisfied with salmon, so. Oh my god. Oops. Oh no! I said her name. No, 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 no. We're gonna meet that. <laughs> I gave it away. Well, you know what? It's fine. This little Superman curl is pissing me off. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know the deal. Sriracha. Yes. Mayo. Mustard. That Dijon was tasty. Only. And then. I'm just saying. Salt and pepper, green goddess. Mix it up. I wish I had avocado. I wish so bad I had avocado. Let's do this. Da -na -na -na. That looks She's absolutely curry. delicious. <laughs> She's here. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do a double boat. <gasps> and then we bite it. Seema. Mm. <gasps> Seema, you're spilling everywhere, ma'am. What? No. What no, she's, she's not so taking it. Real. Okay, Bruce. You missed the best part. No, I don't want that. What are you talking about? You have to put it. Mm -mm. You have to put it. Okay. Really? Yeah. Ew. Help. Help. Mm. I was half expecting her to say, so like, could you help me with the dishes? I'm assuming that's the sister that you talked to. Let me just get it straight. If you cook, someone else does the dishes. It's the way it works. This is the law, okay? There is no other way. If you call the police and complain, they will say, no, sorry, you're gonna go to jail. You're supposed... <laughs> Fun fact, in 2014, a Chinese man spent $40,000 buying all the movie tickets to the first showing of Transformers Age of Extinction at four of the six Beijing IMAX theaters to prove to an ex-girlfriend she had made a bad decision leaving him. Seven years earlier, the man known only as Wong was in his fourth year of college in Nanjing. His girlfriend wanted to go see a movie, but he was so poor he couldn't afford two movie tickets. Because of this, she broke up with him and moved to Beijing. Wong posted this story on Chinese social media platform Weibo. You said when you left for Beijing that I will always be that way. I've been working hard for the past past seven years because of that sentence and today i spent half my monthly income to book all the seats in beijing imax theaters i just oh, want to wow. say maybe your choice back then was wrong yeah. wong said in his post he wanted his message shared until she saw it and would give anyone who reposted his message one of the movie tickets for free wong's post was reposted more than 110,000 times got 35,000 comments and wong gave away 1600 tickets to the opening night viewing wong's ex-girlfriend did get in touch with him after seeing the message go viral they chatted for a bit but didn't rekindle the relationship um yeah, as you shouldn't. It's always funny when people don't see your potential. 
If you're watching this, hi. How are you? Wow, all of that, $40,000 worth of petty. I'm gonna let that sink in for just a second. Would you spend $40,000 to prove that you're petty? <laughs> all right, we've got a fan submission. If you guys wanna submit your petty revenge stories, just check out the description of every single video. There's the links where you can submit them. Don't email them to me. Vanessa's gotta vet them. All right, she's gotta vet them. Make sure you guys aren't crazy. They are anonymous, so if you ever wanted to see your story on my channel, Definitely do that. My BFF drew a red dick on my ex's <laughs> sidewalk. Okay. Long story short, I had a two year relationship with this guy and ended up pregnant with twin girls. He furiously cried when I gave him the news and less than six months later, after a lot of cheating and gaslighting, he broke up with me. Absolutely not. He said he was gonna do his part with the alimony. He's not rich, but very well off. So that wasn't a problem for him. I was pregnant and alone. So my BFF offered to come live with me to help with the kids. Oh, that's nice. But ever since they were born, I had no peace with him. He's a terrible father and constantly chooses women and booze after our kids, making up ridiculous stories about being busy and would never show up even on their birthday. Oh my goodness. But he has a lot of free time to spend in bars and with friends and women. So tired of seeing me crushed about it. My BFF asked me if I could drive her to his house and draw a very huge red Fearless. on the sidewalk with permanent spray. <laughs> okay, we're vandalizing. I see, I see we're vandalizing. I don't know if I support vandalizing. Vandalism nation. But I think in this case, I'll give it a pass. Message sent. He never failed a single visit after that. He sued me for that, but since he has no proof, we're fine. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully this doesn't count as an admission. If I knew a dick would solve my problem, I would have done it years earlier myself. <laughs> All you need in life is a big red dick. <laughs> okay, maybe not red, because that's a little bit concerning for, for, for you and him, but you get my point. Thank you for sharing. So petty, so delicious. Deliciously petty. I gobbled that one up. <laughs> Making my husband's favorite meal. Whatever, anything, you pick. Top it with some parmigiano, cilantro. I'm easy in the wine. How delightfully passive aggressive, my dear. <laughs> so cute, sends the perfect message, doesn't it? Just got scratched my head. Haven't showered in a couple days. Stinky. When Hillary Duff shaded Faye Dunaway after finding out Faye said she wasn't a real actress. Oh, okay. Oh, we love that. This is why we should keep our comments to ourselves, says the girl who literally judges people for a living. Okay, um, I can do it. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to make comments because otherwise, you know, I could run into issues with copyright. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But let's not judge people's potential. Um, not really. I mean, I think that my fans that are gonna go see the movie don't even know who she is. I'm a Hillary Duff stan, and I remember when this happened. Not only did I agree with Hillary, I had no idea who Faye Dunaway was, but now she created an enemy for life. Fast forward to the 2017 Oscars, they announced that Faye Dunaway and Warren Beatty are going to pronounce Best Picture. So I tweet this, Faye Dunaway said something rude about Hillary Duff back in the day, and I'll never forget it. <laughs> Hashtag dumb. As you all may remember, it's time to read the card and Faye Dunaway doesn't realize why Warren Beatty isn't saying the winner's name, so she takes the card from him and just says La La Land, when the winner was really supposed to be Moonlight. And that whole drama ensued, it was hilarious, I was dying, Wait. I watched it live. And then I tweeted, see, this is Faye Dunaway's karma for being rude to Hillary Duff. Hashtag Oscars. Oh. I don't even know if Hillary Duff even cares anymore, but I do. So that's what happened. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Ooh. Ooh. The cringe. The cringe is strong with this one. Do you guys believe in karma? Well, I do. <coughs> dollar Tree. Oh, should I say Dollar 25 Tree? See, I came in here for a broom. And I look at the sign, and it say each item sold separately. So, y'all telling me this stick is a dollar 25, <laughs> and this broom piece. Is a dollar twenty-five. Now y'all know y'all dead. That's wrong, right? Cause if I put this stick on the end of this broom, I'ma be wrong, right? But y'all petty. But I'ma be wrong, right? Then they got the little scrubber pads. 
the mop head <laughs> without the stick. Like, this is just crazy. If y'all was gonna do that, y'all might as well sew the plungers without the suction cup, you know, sew the toilet brush without the brush, you know, sew separately. Like, make it make sense. You know, be be all the way petty. Sell the, 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 oh sh yes. They selling the little cleaner without the damn spray handle. Like, damn. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Because otherwise, then they're not really the Dollar Tree, and then they run into issues with like legal. It's like, oh, I thought you guys were supposed to be all a dollar. I also really like how angry you are about the fact that you have to spend $2.50 on a broom. <laughs> Go on the internet and complain about it. That's all you can do in this situation. I'm not saying you should steal it. <laughs> Kidding. Oh my God. So this is how petty my husband he broke his face playing basketball. And I was like, I can't keep driving you to urgent care every time you get back from basketball, so you need to pick up a new sport. He ends up picking up paddle. He's really good, because he's a tennis player. And he walks into the Fairfield tennis racket beach club, whatever, and asked about their paddle pro. They said, why don't you try parks and rec? AK, this is too expensive for you, you don't. But this is how petty he is. He went to three towns over, not even our own YMCA, and join their paddle team because he found out their paddle team plays the Fairfield Paddle Racket Club paddle team in their tournament. The tournament is tomorrow, so justice may be served finally, and he will get his vindication. So I'll keep you posted. Oh, there okay. he is! <laughs> remember this. Week. Oh, I'll remember. Oh, I'll remember. I'll take a little screenshot. Let me just get the right there. There he is, nice and clear for you. I'll never forget you, sir. You're doing a great thing, and you better win. POV, you surprise your BFF at her party that she forgot to invite you to. Oh. Hey, guys. I'm going to surprise my best friend on her birthday. Hey, guys. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think that's your best friend, babe. I think that might be your enemy. My landlord got mad at me for taping up things on my wall and they spied through my window to see that I had things on my wall. So I bought privacy decals. Congratulations, your visualization privileges have been demoted to kaleidoscope. Period, and you know that those things, when the sun shines through them, they make nice rainbows in your house. As to have them, they're nice. I like them a lot. I also walk around naked. They're a nice thing to have if you walk around naked. I didn't want naked man to see me naked. Who remembers naked man? Now I'm in like a like a dark little room, so I don't have any naked men to look at, but back in the day, the real ones know. Leave a like if you were around when naked man was a thing on this channel. Altering my wedding invite list based on who didn't wish me a happy bur <laughs> birthday. <laughs> yes! As you should, babe. Literally. I think that when you get older and you have, you know, your weddings and your parties and stuff, it becomes this thing where it's like, a party isn't just like a thing that's like BYOB. You spend a lot of money on parties. You know, between the planning and the drinks, I know that I go all out for parties, okay? Like I spend a lot of money. I make sure that everybody doesn't have to buy drinks. I provide food and decorations and, and everything, okay? If it gets to the point where you're no longer good friends with a person, I'm sorry, but they're not gonna be invited. And by the way, it is okay to have a small circle of friends. It's okay to set boundaries and decide that you want your circle to be a little bit smaller. You just might upset a couple people in the process, which is okay. They weren't really your friend to begin with, babe. Like, honestly, it's not like you're losing a friend. I'm just petty like that. Not the tip jar. Oh, stop it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Y'all are out of control. Out of control. Get that out of my face. I don't want to see any more about it. I don't care. So what are you gonna do with the money? Are you gonna send that to Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber? Each cup? Story time warning, I'm petty. Thanks for the warning, not needed, but appreciated. So I just leave the barbershop and the guy's like, how are you dealing with the cost of living crisis? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's difficult on everyone. He's like, oh, we can't win the war. Putin's gonna win because 
we're too concerned with these trans and these gays. Do you know what I mean, bruv? And I said, oh, oh, I don't know because I'm gay on Tuesdays. And he's like, what do you mean gay on Tuesdays? I'm like, on Tuesdays, because I know how much people don't like it, so I only do it one day a week. Um, sometimes I just say petty just to like throw off the ignorance. Uh, when the ignorance is too thick, you just meet them where they are and say some dumb <laughs> Uh, yeah. So Tuesdays, haul at me. <laughs> On Tuesdays, we wear gay. On Wednesdays, we wear our petty sweatsuits. There's nothing I would like more than to have all of you wear petty sweatsuits while you watch my petty videos. Like Saturday morning cartoons. Ah, so cute. My little army of plushies. <laughs> They're literally so soft. when your stylist stopped doing your hair because her ninja was texting my phone. Now let me tell y'all what the f happened. This gonna stop doing my mother hair because her was texting my phone. That's why y'all nosy ass hairstylist needs to stop looking over mother people's shoulders when y'all doing our hair. Cause I'm <laughs> mad as shit. I paid a deposit and all. Like my sh is not even halfway done. And I don't even know no other that's finna do my motherfucking hair like what the fuck I gotta do do my own shit and kept my motherfucking weave that I brought and everything like what the fuck? she lucky I ain't start swinging off her cause the bitch her motherfucking edges if I got the fire and she snatch my shit my shit gonna be gone I mean I don't I don't want to be the bearer of bad news <gasps> that's my bear noise bearer of bad news <laughs> but if you went to that hair stylist full well knowing that you were talking to her ninja and he texted you while you were in the chair. I think that's a fair reason to kick you out. That's your fault. Your fault. POV, your petty husband parked his car behind the neighbor's car because they are in his driveway. They <laughs> they've been knocking at the door all morning trying to get him to move our car. Look at him. Dinner and a show. Literally. Like literally, I'm sorry, I see nothing wrong here. So Drew was the last one to drive my car. He left the tank on empty. So he knows my car hasn't been working correctly lately. So what I'm gonna do, when I get home, I'm gonna tell him that my card wouldn't work. I ran out of gas, some nice man helped me pull my car into the thing. Paid for my gas and pumped it. Ooh. Bet you his won't leave my tank on empty again. Yes, literally. That's very smart. That's very smart. I love that. Oh, you know, there was just this really nice guy and he like filled up my gas tank for me. Well, you left it on empty, so. Those are some incredible incredible acts of petty. I should start giving out trophies, honestly. Subscribe!